my name is Ozzy, but I go by Star. Hi, my name's Alex, but my art name is Lacey. I've always been into it. Uh, my dad was very, well, is very, very good at drawing, and he taught me when I was very young how to draw. And I just remember doing like little, little drawings and my family being very surprised <laughs> at how well they've turned out. So that was just something I wanted to carry on with. It's just, it's just always there, really. You're growing um, up with it. You, you just change the way you do it over time. And it just, it just keeps developing and it never ends. And there's just endless possibilities. You just, you just kind of see something that you like, you have a vision about it and you just... Take a lot of inspo yeah. from things that are around you. Yeah, what I do is um, I like to combine different things um, together. So I'll take one thing from something, put it into something else um, and just mix it up and make it mine. And um, what I do is I use <coughs> spray paints uh, first as like the the backgrounds basically and like the main colours and then I use Posca pens to add in the details and then do like a sparkly um, top coat. They're really easy to work with for me and the colours are really bold. I think we all, both of us use like pretty bold colours but for me it was taking a more abstract approach was a lot easier for me and then I got an iPad, started doing a few digital things, um, but that's what I also do at uni as well. I just kind of experiment with different medias. I just, I, painting is one of the main things I do, but I will gladly do sketching, um, digital work on the iPad, do printing, print work at uni as well. So I wouldn't say there's one specific process for me, it's just whatever I feel works best at the time. I, I use it as a way to relax because I, I don't and I guess also for career wise I don't want to be sat at a nine to five in an office yeah. doing <laughs> fuck all that's boring as shit I don't want to be doing that if I if I have the skill and I enjoy uh, doing what I do then I want to make a career out of it that's what makes me want to keep doing it and I also it's a bonus that like at the end of a long day, I can come in. I can come in and sit down and do some painting, and I feel fine after. Um, for me, it's it's quite the same, but I think it's really stressful sometimes. It's really stressful. It can to be come up with shit. <laughs> it's so stressful, and if you come up with something, someone's already done it, and it's just it's so annoying. Yeah, you've got to figure out a way to like to make it your own. Oh. Yeah. I feel like the thing that gets keeps basically. I don't know if you've ever met someone and you just like the way they are, and you just kind of like get inspired by the way they are. I don't know, I feel like people are really important <laughs> in what I do, because I get my inspiration from people and what they like. Go, we'd go to museums around London or Birmingham and we'd sit and just not draw the pieces of art that's there, but draw the people that are looking at the art. And then we'll do character development with the people that we've drawn that are there. So yeah. finding people, like just some strangers can be very inspirational. I feel like the most important thing is to see, like just to look at something that you haven't seen before. So it has to be mad unique. That's what I look for. Um, and that's what I think makes a good piece of work. Just something you haven't seen before really. Yeah. I hate when people just do the same thing over and over and over again. Like for me, what would make a good piece in my style is something that just looks really strange. Like mm. I want somebody, I want somebody to double look it and be like, oh, uh, yeah. uh, like just to actually understand <laughs> what it is, because you might not understand what it is. I don't even understand what it is, but, <laughs> but it's eye catching. Yeah, it's eye catching and it's colourful and it's bold and bold, bold, bold. 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 <laughs> But yeah, that's all I can say. See, that word it. actually suits. It does. Yeah. Because yeah. we, we were debating what to choose, but we were like, we didn't uh, even like the word bold. No, we but don't. But now we realise it 
It's perfect, it is. to be fair. <laughs> it literally is. I've had a few people actually come up to me and be like, bold. Bold, yeah, bold, bold, bold. <laughs> To describe my art would be very psychedelic, very um, trippy, as per se. Um, for you, it's very traditional, yet yeah, still colourful. Yeah, traditional with a twist of graffiti. Mm. Well, the other way around, really, because graffiti is the main thing. Mm. Expect good vibes. Expect good people. Expect a good venue hosted by good, good people. Um, and just expect to have a good time. Just expect that we are using the space efficiently and more than what you have probably seen a photo mafia before.